Welcome to Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joe B and Matt and the cat. Happy 4th of July. I brought my pussy again. <laughs> Mr. Humphreys, leave my pussy alone. <laughs> <laughs> Meow, she's talking a bunch. I had a great week. Oh my goodness, I get another three days off. That is amazing. Any days paid off are amazing. I was going to go see my family and do junk today, but God, it was so friggin' hot. I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world! What a world! I, I hope you guys had fun and did whatever you wanted to do, but it was, it was more than I could take. So I hung around the house and I watched some movies I'm going to tell you about. And me and the cat watched movies and we had some wine um i tried some bridal wood pinot noir we got it in at costco i was not impressed with this one it kind of tasted like burned rubber um matt liked it he said it tasted rich but i i pff, it wasn't up my alley um we also had some casolero del diablo which is uh um seller of the devil the, the guy didn't want people stealing his wine, so we told him that his cellar was haunted by the devil. So it's Casolero del Diablo. We had the Carmenere tonight, but that's very, very dry. It's very dry, very bitey. Um, uh, they, they have different blends. You know, they got a Cabernet and they got a red blend and such. And the others I find much better, but a Carmenere to me is just too dry. Maybe you like it. I don't know. You know what I like? I like me some Locos. So I had a Loco. I don't think Matt had any Loco tonight, but I had a Gold Loco. I got a Blaze. I love Blaze. Blaze is amazing. Uh, Blaze is orangey tasting and spicy and such. Um, the Gold is just, um, just Gold. It's still good. It's something I like. <laughs> um... Me and the cat worked hard at watching some movies today so I could tell you about some. But boy, I got some stinkers. Um, Tara Reid. Anything Tara Reid is in is it, uh, another class of movie entirely. She plays the craziest stuff. I mean, just think Sharknado. Um, Bus Party to Hell. It was the production company was like can I shoot you dot com. Well, I wish they'd shot me from the start so I didn't watch this movie, but maybe you'll like it. It was lots of tits in it. There was big tits, small tits, medium tits. They they were on a bus. They were going to uh, Black City to the Burning Man show from Vegas. They thought the ride was free. Um, they're dancing around, topless, having a good time. And then all of a sudden, these crazy savages, the bus driver pulls over and says she's got to do something with the bus. And these crazy, crazy savages come out of nowhere and start uh, trying to kill them and killing them. I mean, it was a, 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 a lot of people on that bus. Um, then come to find out the woman who was driving the bus is a part of this group. All right, we're getting into the spoiler alert part of the thing. I wish you could just shut your big yapper! <laughs> Um, they had been stalking the one girl from earlier, and she was the chosen one who was going to be the monster. So, okay, there you go. If you like Sharknado, you'll love this movie. Um, uh, where is, when I first saw it, I thought the name of the movie is Where is Kyra, but it's Kira. Yeah, 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 Kira. Um, it was Michelle Pfeiffer. And she, believe it or not, she lived in Virginia uh, in, the, in the beginning of the movie when she was telling uh, her, her co-star, Kiefer Sutherland, about her life. She said she lived in Virginia. She went to take care of her mother, and it was, it was so sad when her mother passed away. I mean, she truly, truly, truly loved her mother. Um, she got a job. She went to work. She came home. We're getting into spoiler alert again. I want you to sincerely do everyone a great service and clam up! And she found her mom dead. So she started dressing up like her mother to go and cash checks or get money out of her mother's checking account until her um, life insurance, I guess, paid or something. She didn't have any money. She couldn't. Uh, she lost the wallet. 
that was her mother's so that she could get her mother's money. And then Kiefer Sutherland was her boyfriend, and he kind of helped her at, with the facade of the whole thing. At first he was discouraged by it, and then he decided to help her. She went down and got her mother's identification and everything. So, it, dressed like her mother. And then in the end, it, uh, biggest spoiler alert of all, she gets caught. The um, policeman comes and takes her disguise off and because he knows that she, uh, the mother's dead. It was a good movie, though. Well, I, mean, I, I enjoyed it pretty much. Um, something that I absolutely did not enjoy was Escape 2. Um, Matt came in. I was kind of get starting to watch Escape 2. We were off today for the holiday. So I had it in, oh, we just turned it off and took it back. I'm going to watch it with my dad because I can put it on and walk out of the room and make him something to eat and I don't have to watch it. But he'll enjoy the suspense and the drama and the action of it. Um, Escape 2, it had Sylvester Stallone, it had Batista and 50 Cent. Um, yeah, I, I don't even have anything to say about that. I can at least tell you that Bus Party to Hell, unless you are a dingbat, don't watch this movie. But if you just want to sit and drink and watch something, watch that. All right. Uh, I told you where is Kyra, the Kira. And then there was another one that I watched that was so cute. It was called Finding Your Feet. And it had a bunch of older British actors in it, actors and actresses. And uh, they were all going through their own thing. They got together, and the the one uh, she found out or she was rich, and she found out that her husband was cheating on her, and she went to live with her sister, and she was getting on her feet. But then she enjoyed dancing when she was a young girl, and her sister was in a dancing group, so she got into the dancing group and and met a guy and. Oh, it, it kind of had a love story ending and stuff. It was very cute. Matt watched the end of that with me, and I, I liked it. If you, if you get a chance, absolutely sit down and watch Finding Your Feet. It had that lady from Ab Fab, you know, with that great big blonde beehive-looking hairdo that she had. Yeah. And they were always drinking and smoking and smoking dope and taking pills and whatever. They were, that was funny as hell. Ab Fab. Anyway, Finding Your Feet, please watch that. I, I just can't see you regretting it. Um, uh, uh, we happened upon I Feel Pretty with Amy Schumer. We, oh, that was so cute. That was so cute. She um, just was, she's just an average girl. I mean, they try to make it like she's all fat and stuff, but she's not all fat and stuff. She's just an average person. I mean, um, people come in different shapes and sizes, but... Her size, shape and size is not offensive to me. I don't, I don't know why they pick on her so much. But uh, Amy Schumer, she uh, feels like an average person, and then all of a sudden she um, falls and bangs her head, and she thinks she is the most beautiful person in the whole entire world. And it was, it was so cute. Her, her personality, you know, like you're just, you, come, you, oh, she was so nice, but she just had so much confidence that it made her niceness really nice. <laughs> um, it definitely, definitely, I feel pretty. It had Lauren Hutton in it as well. Boy, is she a pretty lady. They had some older pictures of her from back when she was young, but she still looked really good. Lauren Hutton, I feel pretty. Uh, we've been watching some TV. Oh, Matt has been bringing Bugs Bunny over. Oh boy, do I love Bugs Bunny. I love Bugs Bunny references. I love Bugs Bunny songs. I love Bugs Bunny shows. I love Bugs Bunny. If it's Rabbit Baby wants, Rabbit Baby gets. <coughs> Yahoo! <laughs> I reference Bugs Bunny so much in the course of my day, but other people don't even realize it. <laughs> um, I have to give a public apology. I called Matt Pack at 2 o'clock this morning, and I feel really bad because he was asleep, but I thought he'd be diddling around. And Matt, I apologize for calling you at 2 o'clock in the morning publicly. I apologize. Shit. Yes? I told you 
not to hang up on me. What do you want? To talk. Well, dial someone else, okay? <laughs> you don't have to accept my apology, Matt. I won't do it again. No, no, I, I accept it, but what does diddling around mean? Uh, d doing day off things. Oh, good great! Ugh! Ow! Sir, you're making too much noise. Can't you just kiss him goodnight and let it go at that? Cleaning okay. something, washing something. Okay. <laughs> okay. I fiddly fart. I said fart. I fiddly fart around when I'm off. I stay up. That's why I was calling you it too. I was okay. fiddly farting around. Okay. <laughs> I made Mac eggs, scrapple tonight for dinner. Scrapple is, uh, I, I think, mostly the snout of the pig. We both enjoyed it very much. I, I did uh, uh, over easy eggs and some scrapple. It, it turned out really well. It was nice and crunchy. My mother would be proud. Uh, we went to Brewster's. I had peanut butter, butterfinger, three scoops, and a waffle cone. Oh, does life get any better than that besides a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts? Um... They had one there. It was called Cotton Candy Explosion. Matt had birthday cake. Matt had two birthday cakes in a waffle cone, right? Two scoops. Two scoops in a in a waffle cone. Oh, what good memories. You know, you sit out there at Brewster's and just eat your ice cream in the car and put your feet on the dashboard. Love it. We had a great night. I hope... Uh, oh... And we went out and listened to some uh, fireworks on the patio. I brought some special effects myself. They don't light up anymore. <laughs> but I hope you had a great day off. I hope you went to the pool or went and saw some fireworks or <clears throat> stayed home and watched movies with your cat. <clears throat> I had my best friend Matt over. We had some wine. We had some locos. We had the cat. We had a great time. I'm glad you guys came. See you next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. I just wanted to make sure you knew that the cat was here. My clothes were here. My daily bops were here this week. I can't do it naked every week. Makes Matt have to do too much editing. I got on my Joe Cool shirt this week for the 4th of July. I hope somebody noticed that. <laughs> oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Have a great one. Thanks for coming. Bye, everybody. Happy 4th of July. Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. But it's Kira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kira.